We are now in Liverpool's Derby Square, just outside the Queen Elizabeth II Law Courts. And behind me is a new uh, public artwork, permanent for Derby Square, called the Hummingbird Clock. It exists both physically and online. It's a kind of counter-surveillance project, hence being outside the law courts. It's watching the watchers, if you like. For the last 10 years, the UK government has been using the uh, buzzing sound of the electrical mains grid as a kind of time stamp, because this buzzing, we hear it as stable, but it's actually kind of singing. It's kind of jumping around. And in that pattern of uh, of its oscillation at any given 10 seconds is completely unique. Which means you can just take that off a recording, like the one we're making now, which maybe conducts it off the lights or whatever, and you can match it to a database of uh, mains recordings that are going 24 hours, seven days a week. That's been done by the police for over 10 years, so my idea for Liverpool Biennial was to actually return this uh, nation's buzz to the people of Britain and for them to be able to uh, time and date recordings in the same way. So there's an online pl platform for that and where you can submit audio recordings and uh, find exactly when they were made. And there's this physical aspect which looks like uh, kind of three CCTV cameras which drop to the, the surface, uh, the street level. When you look through these uh, little binoculars, what you'll see is the clock of uh, the town hall. The clock has a kind of lion and a unicorn either side of it. So you see this old kind of pompous idea of the way that time and power and, and the nation come together in this image. But here, of course, we're watching the clock and we're watching the power, we're literally reclaiming power as uh, electricity and both uh, for people to be able to use this new technique of uh, surveillance for themselves. Yeah.